Welcome to Most Amazing Facts. Today we're looking at Ask Reddit. What's something strange your body does that you know isn't quite right, but also isn't quite serious enough to get checked out by a doctor? Well, every once in a while, my eyes will go blurry and I can't see for a few seconds. I've learned to wait it out, but it seriously freaked me out when I was younger, but from what I know, it's basically harmless. By the way, I have 20-20 vision, so it's not my eyesight getting worse over the years. I get that when I'm overly tired. Then I won't be able to focus my eyes and I'll have to go to sleep. At totally random times, it feels like my heart keeps skipping a beat and I feel short of breath. It goes on for a few hours usually and then stops. I get rubber band headaches sometimes when I focus on doing a certain task. Sometimes the muscles in my hand will tense up and I have to use my other hand to unfold it. I have the first issue too. It is so uncomfortable that I have been to the ER three times for it and seen two cardiologists. Lots and lots and lots of tests later, we found out that my body is super sensitive to adrenaline. Does this happen for you when there's a situation that induces adrenaline? I will sometimes catch myself mouthing or whispering the last sentence or phrase I spoke. Drives me insane. I'd like to self-diagnose this as palalalia. Seems to be exactly what I have. Drives me insane. Are you brick from the middle? I've read that this is a symptom sometimes found in autistic children, but other than that, I have no clue what it could be. My body doesn't let me know when I need to pee until it hurts. Like I could go a whole day without peeing and then wake up the next morning with intense stomach cramps that go away after a solid five minute pee. I can't tell you how many times I've been like, have I peed today? Well, you never know. And I sit down to discover that my bladder was full. It's nice to know that I'm not the only one. After reading comments, I'm worried it might be some pinched nerves in my spine or something because I'm realizing I only began having trouble telling I need to pee after I fell and bruised my tailbone. I haven't had kids yet, so it can't be because of a C-section. But I did get frequent UTIs in middle school around the same time I got my tailbone, so I'm not sure if it was before or after. And my mom never took me to get treated for them. It lasted about six months, then I would get so itchy that I'd scratch myself bloody, so it might be lasting damage from that. I also have a ovarian cyst, so the person who suggested I get my uterus checked out, it never occurred to me that they might be connected. My parents grew up as migrants, so they never went to the hospital unless they were dying, and that mindset has been transferred over to us, so they almost never take us to the doctors. I'm heading off to college in a few weeks, though, so I might stop by a free health clinic or something since I'll finally be able to. You might be super constipated. Sounds weird, but I went to a urologist for the same thing. They x-rayed me and that was the answer. Not gonna lie, that actually sounds amazing. Sometimes I really feel like I need to pee and then I'll pee one molecule. Sometimes I get this weird feeling like everything is going in slow-mo. In contrast, I feel like everything I do is at normal speed. My brain just wants me to do stuff and I feel this burst of energy that makes me feel great. However, there is always a moment where I feel like I should keep moving because if I stop, something bad will happen to me. Usually it lasts for a few minutes tops. When I manage to calm down, everything goes back to normal. Has been happening since I'm a kid, 24 now and still happens every year. That's your fight or flight response kicking in without a trigger. I have generalized anxiety and a panic disorder. The slow-mo is from the panic disorder when my fight or flight goes off without a trigger. It's happened to me doing laundry, walking into a room, all kinds of mundane stuff that does not justify the response. The first time it happened, I was 10 and it was accompanied by some auditory hallucinations and overwhelming buzzing noise. I didn't know it was anything not normal and always just thought it was something cool my brain could do. It wasn't until I was diagnosed with anxiety that we figured out what that was too. When I cough, a spot in the middle of my back itches like mad. Also, once every few months, I'll turn my head in a certain way and it feels like something snaps in my head and a sensation of warmth spreads out in my skull. Probably not a tumor. Oh, I get the warm thing. At least I'm not the only one. The head snapping warm neck thing happens to me too, and I believe it's that you turn your head too fast and punch a nerve, but it feels super weird. I need more people to comment about the back thing to feel like I'm not crazy. It itches so bad. I have one piece of hair on my arm that is white and grows super fast and can get way longer than I've ever seen an arm hair be before. My sister has a single whisker that grows out of her forehead. You won't notice it until it's like three inches long. It's rigid and plucks very easily. One time when we were children, I plucked it when I was mad at her. I have one of those and a few rare ones that pop up anywhere. The one on my arm is the old reliable though. I've seen it mentioned on Reddit before, so do liberally assault this. And someone said it was because the DNA for the protein that makes dark pigment has a little mutation that makes it make the same protein as a hair. So, your body is making a double hair instead of a dark hair. A hair hair. Sometimes when I sneeze, I get severe pain, sniffles, and pressure in my arms. Internet says it's a pinched nerve. It goes away after a few seconds. Never told a doctor about it, even though it's been happening since I was a kid. When I sit in a position for too long and then arch my back, my breastbone cracks into place. Not sure if it's the breastbone, but definitely in my chest. Ah, yes, cracking your sternum. Best feeling ever. Sometimes I feel a very acute short pain in my chest for like one tenth of a second. It feels like it's in between the ribs, like they pinched the meat. Happens rarely, but it's been happening for years. Does it get worse when you breathe? That's what happens for me. Take a deep breath until it pops. 
I get visual snow. That stuff is annoying, but I don't know if there's a way to fix it. I just Googled what this is and didn't realize that it isn't a normal thing that everyone has. I have this really bad and it bothered me constantly. Like I think about it multiple times a day. A couple of weeks ago, I realized that I hadn't thought about it in years. It's still there, but I kind of stopped noticing it, if that makes sense. It was roughly 15 years of having a bad time with it. I think the lesson is worrying about it isn't going to help. I talk to tons of eye doctors about it and people say nothing is wrong with my eyes. Sometimes the inability to tell the difference between being nauseated and hungry. That's not abnormal. The nausea is likely the result of a dip in your blood sugar. I mean, I got this checked out, but apparently I have a good tumor. How good are we talking? About 60% of the time when I take a leak, my pee decides to shoot off at a near right angle. I'm a guy. No correlation with recent sex, etc. No way of knowing which direction. I live in fear of the day it finally goes vertical and I waterboard myself. I've always had this and resigned myself to a life of being the guy who sits down to pee to avoid spraying the floor of the toilet. Every once in a while, while holding a stack of books or a box or similar shaped stuff where the tips of my finger bent but the rest was straight, my fingers would lock in place so I'd have to move my arms and hands in a specific way to unlock them and move my fingers properly. Have you noticed a lump on your wrist? Mine used to do this and it turns out I had a ganglion cyst. I feel the need to close my eyes very tight about once every five minutes. Hopefully it doesn't make me look like a complete psycho. This sounds like a motor tick, motor Tourette's. I have the same thing, but I rapidly blink and clench my eyes shut like constantly, as well as raising and lowering my eyebrows. So yeah, great fun. It does. I knew an ADHD kid that did the same thing. I get red marks on my body after a workout and sweat a lot, but they quickly disappear as soon as I cool down again. 100% normal until I work out again. It also feels itchy when the red marks are there, but the itch disappears with everything else eventually. Exercise induce cholinergic urticaria. I'm really happy that so many people have found this bit of info useful. Usually it can be treated with antihistamines. I personally have it to the extent that I need a shot called Zolaire. It's expensive, but if you work with an allergist, you can get it approved through insurance. There's also a waiver program. Good luck and stay give free. I get the same thing when I'm exposed to heat above standard room temperature for longer than a minute or two. Even during warm showers, little itchy red bumps all over my arms and legs, part of my chest and back. It's ridiculous and it can actually get painful if I try to ignore it, like trying to go for a walk outside. Not me, but my uncle. He's almost 70 now. Over the past few years, he's gotten more and more grumpy. Yeah, nothing to worry about. His uncle was like that too. Something old people get. He never wanted to see a doctor even if his cold didn't seem to go away after two months a few years ago. That was bronchitis. Progressed in pneumonia. He still has a nasty cough. About a month ago, my grandmother was celebrating her 93rd birthday with her children. My uncle just sat there, staring in the distance when, when trying to talk, he just mumbled. My aunt finally took charge and took him to the hospital. Brain scan was done. Turns out he had a lot of tiny brain bleeds, probably over the course of several years. Don't ignore personality change no matter how slowly they progress. The bags under my eyes get purple sometimes. I got a bit of a farmer's tan, but the parts of my skin that are exposed to the sun are like an olive color. Some days I look as pale as a dead man, but I feel perfectly fine. My right testicle randomly hurts. I started balding at 16. Sometimes it actually feels like my heart skips a beat, but that actually went away. I hear people arguing when I try to fall asleep. Look up exploding head syndrome. I hear odd noises when I fall asleep sometimes too. People yelling, often my name, or loud clapping or banging sounds. Always just for a second. The testicle pain could be very chilly. Have that checked out. My doctor told me, you should never feel anything at your testicles. They should just be there. Sometimes I can't swallow food or water. It's like my throat just randomly closes and it isn't a food allergy either. I'm able to swallow if I quickly twist my neck to the side. It temporarily opens my throat. It doesn't happen often enough to warrant a doctor visit. Please see a doctor about this. Difficulty swallowing is a sign of something really unpleasant things coming down the pipe. My knees, legs, and butt always vibrate. I don't know why. I might have a phone inside of me. A lot of people are suggesting magnesium and I trust it. A booty call, perhaps? This happens to me sometimes. I'll look down and the spot of my thigh is just randomly wiggling. Freaks me the crap out. <laughs> Personal trainer here. It's probably just muscle spasms. Eat more bananas, drink more water, and get more sleep. Easier said than done. I know. Well, I don't think it's really a problem worth getting worried over, but it's something that I've always thought wasn't really normal. I get this really weird feeling in my brain sometimes that it's incredibly hard to describe, which is honestly why I've never talked to anyone about it. It's like a brain shiver? Like when you get chills, but it's only happening inside your skull and not the rest of your body. There's also this weird, almost squeaky sound in my ears when it happens too. When I was little, I used to think it was my brain getting another wrinkle because I learned something that made me smarter, Lamau. To clarify, there's no physical sensation that happens. No goosebumps or anything like that. Chills are just the closest thing that I can compare it to. It's literally just a quick 
feeling in the middle of my brain that doesn't travel down my body or anything like that. Just a second or two and then it's over. I know it sounds similar to brain zaps people get when coming off antidepressants and I'm assuming it feels the same way, but this has happened for as long as I can remember way before I ever took any medication or anything. And it still happens even now that I'm on stuff for anxiety. It's not ASMR. They're two completely different feelings. ASMR is a pleasant skin tingly feeling. This is like someone poking my brain and it makes a squishy sound or a momentary brain short circuit. It's not in any way a nice feeling or caused by the same stuff ASMR is. Stop PMing me saying it's just ASMR. Huh, sounds a bit like a symptom of SSRI withdrawal. This is one that previously happened and is solved as far as I'm concerned. For a couple of years, every time I ran my dishwasher, my eyes got really dry. That makes no sense, right? It was a minor annoyance, but too ridiculous to say out loud, even to a doctor. Years later, I got diagnosed with Sjorgen's syndrome. My immune system mistakenly attacks my tear ducts and my eyes get really dry. Scientists think it's kicked in by an exposure to a toxin, like mold, that sends your immune system haywire. My old apartment was full of black mold in the walls. Every time I ran my dishwasher, it got in there and wet the mold and made it worse. I'm so glad to figure it out. I wasn't just imagining things because I knew I wasn't. Just to answer some questions. Yes, I'm female. How I got diagnosed is another story. I noticed weird things like I was breathing fine, but didn't seem to be getting oxygen. I even moved my computer next to an open window to try to get fresh air. Ultimately, I started getting pains like an ice pick stabbing me in the lungs, but they'd only last around one second and be gone. I kept seeing doctors and being misdiagnosed with pleurisy. Finally, I was at one quick care and the doctor said my x-rays looked normal, but a pulmonologist just happened to walk by and noticed a nodule, so he pointed it out. Ultimately, I got blood tests that showed autoimmune. I had a lung biopsy that confirmed sarcoidosis, and then markers for Shorgans too. I had a few years of heavy steroids and doing much better. I have 72% of my lungs left. There was a lot of scar tissue formed while it was active. My eyes and mouth get dry, and I may get tear duct plugs eventually. My joints used to hurt, but they have me on something that's helping that too. I eat a plant-based diet and am very physically active at my job. I'm in constant motion there, so I suppose that helps. No, I don't live in that inner city hellhole anymore. That is some Dr. House level mystery crap. I have moments for a few minutes once every couple of months where I have a huge memory lapse and nothing feels quite right. Mate, this is serious and you should go to a psychiatrist or a neurologist to get it checked out. Memory lapses are a huge red flag. Tell a neurologist this is a symptom of some pretty serious stuff. I get a sharp pain in my butthole every now and then. It feels like a lightning bolt for about two seconds once every two months. Proctalgia fugax. It's basically a muscle spasm. Not harmful, just incredibly painful for a few seconds. Using the poop knife wrong. Clearly. This thread made me feel like all bodies are weird and maybe I don't have a hidden tumor after all. Thanks. Or maybe we all have hidden tumors. Random twitchy muscles. Often enough to notice that it happens, yet infrequent enough to not to be of any concern. Muscle spasms totally normal. You probably aren't eating enough potassium, drinking enough water, or getting enough sleep. When I'm laying down, my legs feel weird and I feel the urge to contract my muscles or, I don't know, just rip them the crap off. They don't hurt or anything, they just feel weird. Also, I get kind of weird feelings or twitches on my brain that are hard to describe. Sounds like you may be experiencing restless leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome. I get this too. Magnesium is supposed to help, but I've never tried it. My stomach hurts between breakfast and lunch almost every day, because I'm hungry, I guess, and hurts worse after I eat. It's a sharp pain that goes away if I lay completely flat on the ground. I've resorted to laying down in a few public bathrooms before. Happening since fourth grade. I'm going to college now. You need to get this looked at now. It could be an ulcer. It could be food intolerance. Every single time I swallow, my ears pop. Wait, this isn't normal? I get these shivers across my spine every once in a while. Sometimes they come from a change in temperature, but usually it's if a car comes a little close or someone passes too close behind me. My best guess is a slight adrenaline release. When I stare at something for too long, everything goes dark. You oversaturate your retina. It's like going inside from a bright outside, but when you stare, you aren't blinking and the light takes over. Blink more. Sometimes I'll be walking and I just suddenly dissociate from my body and everything around me. It could either be triggered by my thoughts or just doing nothing at all. I think about how I'm next to nothing in the universe and feel like I'm jumping outside of myself. Then my body just feels like it isn't mine. In that moment, I try to stop it by looking down at my arms and realize that my body is mine and to stop thinking about things like that. It takes a lot of distraction to end it. Happened a lot my senior year in high school. Happens on occasion now, and might have happened the other day. Last maybe 30 seconds to a minute? I'm really hoping someone else has gone through something similar. Yes, yes, this used to happen to me so much when I was younger. I was so completely dissociate from my body and myself to the point where I felt even my name wasn't my actual name. It was so weird, but I remember learning about a term for this feeling in one of my psych classes. I don't think it's anything harmful. If anything, it's kind of relieving. I don't breathe right. 
you know how you barely breathe, maybe for like 0.2 seconds in and 0.2 seconds out, so it looks like you're not breathing, also known as sort of like how you're taught to breathe in choir while singing? I breathe like that. I didn't think much of it, but I also have chronic medical migraines. I recently realized that if I inhale deeper, expanding my lungs fully, you know, like how most people breathe, it hurts to stretch them and I get a little dizzy, but it also feels good. Like I just saved some brain cells from dying from lack of oxygen, just like a sudden rush to my brain. This is serious, see a doctor. Just about every time I step outside on a bright day, I have to sneeze. I no longer feel so alone in my strange pains and aches. Oh no, this is very serious. I'm afraid this means you are between stage five and six in Ligma. I'm very sorry. And that's the end of this Ask Reddit. What's something strange your body does that you know isn't quite right, but also isn't quite serious enough to get checked out by a doctor? Let us know down in the comments if your body does anything strange that you're not so sure you should go get checked out. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button, get subscribed to the channel, as well as share this video with your friends so that they can tell you about their strange body quirks. Thank you so much for watching this most amazing facts video, and we will see you in the next one.